crowd was shouting, we go burn this motor, we are going to burn this, uh, burn this. Hello, welcome to today's episode of My Life Experiences. How are you all doing? I'm doing great. Okay, let's get into the video already. Today, um, I'll be sharing uh, one of my life experiences, something that happened in 2015, April precisely. My, uh, my elder sister and I were traveling from Abuja, Nigeria to Ogoja in Krasheva State, Nigeria. And we had received news about our father that he was in the hospital, he was rushed to the hospital. So we decided to travel and uh, we boarded a bus in Abuja. On our way down to Ogoja, we got to Benway State. Um, we were at uh, Boko, after Boko, um, after Boko, almost at a particular town. I don't know the, the, the exact name, but I know this town uh, is before, when you're going to Ogoja from Abuja, the town is before Van de Kerr. So, in Benway State. So we got to uh, this, almost at this town, after Boko. We, we were at that town. And there was this driver that came, he came from the right of our vehicle. He just, because the place, there was a little bit of traffic. The road is very bad. So, and that place is really, really bad. So there's always traffic in that place. And I think something extra happened. A, a trailer fell, something. So even uh, there were uh, some policemen, there were some uh, road safety. So trying to see how they could uh, make this, uh, you know, clear. And this driver came from our right, from the right, you know, almost entering the bush, just crossed our vehicle. It was almost, uh, we, our vehicle almost hit, the, as it crossed. You know, even when he crossed, he went to a different vehicle and did the same thing. Everybody, almost three or four cars were like cussing on him. What is wrong with you and all that. And my heart skipped. Everybody in my vehicle was shouting. I was shouting. We were cussing on him. We were just, I don't even know what we were saying. We were just angry, throwing hands, you know. And what he did. And... Thank God nothing happened to us. We were uh, all fine and uh, we proceeded. So, we got to, there's this town before Vandikia. This thing happened, uh, what happened, the, the whole driver situation happened about 20 minutes ago. We had uh, like even forgotten about it. So we now got to a town before Van de Kier. I know in that town has a junction where they call Castinala Junction. So when we go to that town, we just saw a guy, because my sister and I were sitting at the back. A guy just come because this place, the road is bad. No matter how you get there, you must slow. That place must slow. We just saw a guy run to run very fast to our car and open the boot. You know, when he opened the boot, he gave me a slap, dragged me, you know, dragged me, well, my, my throat, and I said, dragged me, and I slapped him, I, 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 I slapped him back. So, I was inside, the, the, the boss, uh, the driver had to stop, like, what is going on, what is go going on? So, why he did that, there were uh, uh, two ladies that were also in front with him and this other one was also hitting me. And I think one was hitting on my sister, I don't know, you know. Uh, uh, but I know their hands were moving and I know one of the ladies, her hand, like, hit me. And we saw another crowd of about 18, 20 people 
on their way with sticks and sticks and they were like he was talking so my sister was telling me Rachel please please don't hit him back I know this is not okay I know he's not supposed to hit you I know this I know no please don't hit him back I looked at him I looked at this place and she was telling me and the, the people the, the crowd was shouting we go burn this motor we are going to burn this uh, burn this car we will burn this car they said they will burn the car they were like you know it was almost on the process they want to burn the car and my sister was telling me don't hit him back just leave him whatever he does just leave him don't say anything just leave him and all that so i looked at her she was really panicking she was telling me you don't know you don't know these people you don't understand i know better don't hit him back just leave him if he hits you you know so i i looked at it truly these people they are a crowd inside the bus were just about five of us just one guy plus the driver two guys you know i just looked at it and i was like my sister was like i should be diplomatic and which is true you know it's a town that we don't know that could do anything to us and even burn the vehicle down and nothing will happen that's the society we live in yes that's the society we live in Nigeria, yes, nothing will happen, you know. So I kept quiet and he kept hitting on me and hitting on me. And I asked him, What did I do to you? What you what did I do to you? Then I, I'm this kind of person, I easily recognize people, you know. So I now looked at him very well. I discovered that it was that driver that did that wrong driving, you know. So inside of my mind, I'm like, okay, maybe he's angry that we cost on him for almost killing us. So maybe that's why he's hitting on me. And I'm like, I looked at the ladies, I'm like, you people are women. Why are you all hitting on, on, on me, on us? Like, what did we really do? What did I do? You know, what happened? I mean, I saw that when that guy was inside alone in that vehicle, you people, uh, what, I mean, what is going on? He did wrong driving. And everybody was talking. So why are you hitting me without even asking? And they were like, you did crazy. You didn't know what you did. Are you crazy? I'm like, for him trying to kill us and we we talked. Is that the album? Are you crazy? So that was when one of them started saying, how could you do that? I said, what did I do? I'm trying to understand. So that I'm, I'll be sure that for trying to fight for our life is what is trying to, uh, almost getting us killed. You know, and... The, the lady said, eh, eh, you show him. Uh, according to what she's saying, that the guy told them that uh, I showed him my lady parts. <laughs> my life, oh my God. I was like, what? Why would I do that? I mean, I don't understand. Inside a body, inside a vehicle, how am I going to be able to pull and show you my V? I don't, I don't, till today I'm just confused. So I now understand that if he tells these people, this crowd of about 20 something people that are coming to kill us, if he tells them that I did a wrong driving and they, they, they were crossing on, on me, you know, if he tells them that it will be somehow for them to come out like that and fight it will be shameful you know so he had to tell them this but even if this had been true you all judge is this something that they would say to somebody that a crowd of people will come out with stick that they wanted to burn the vehicle i was also shaking my head so the guy and the driver came and they spoke and the other boys, if you see them, they rally around and they were bang, banging on the vehicle uh, that they want to burn it. They were like, oh, they want to get full. Ah, that was a near-death experience. And it got me thinking, wow. I didn't even know that there were still people like this in our society. You know, this society doesn't surprise me. So many things happen. Now I don't get surprised when I just see some things and I just smile like, okay. I know where I am, so, you know, but it's just that 
At least I say, I can't, I can still set my own standards in this society. You know, I, I, I was so surprised that some people just want to kill six people and burn a vehicle because somebody told you something so stupid. Who would open up their destiny and show somebody their V pad, like their, their lady pad? Who would do that? Up to this minute, up to this second, when I meet people from that area, honestly, I, I don't give them a chance. Honestly, I'll be truthful. I don't give them a chance. When I just meet them and somebody's saying, yeah, I meet somebody and the person say, oh, I'm from Idoma, I'm all smiles and all that. But when the person tries to mention that area, I just withdraw without telling them, okay, this is what happened, this is my experience. Why? Because I'm not using one man date to just justify, to judge others. I'm using, this man went to talk to these people and a crowd of 20-something people. It's not just one person. They say three is a crowd. So this is 20 something people that were coming to kill us because we spoke for ourselves. We were trying to not get killed. That is a society. As I speak on this, I am kind of emotional about this. It's, it's so sad. It's so, so sad that my society is still like this. We need to grow. We need to grow. We need to grow. Please like, share, comment, and uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time on my Alex Prentice.